out is very heavy as a result of all of this. And safe home to you this evening. Make sure you light up and take a nice and easy road surface. It's pretty greasy. Ed Sheeran in there with Thinking Out Loud and the Riptide Movement, one of my favourite Irish bands with you and I. Their album is pretty killer and recommended. Have you been walking along Washington Street, Western Road sort of direction, passing the old Kino Cinema, noting the big mural on the wall and wondered about it? Well, wonder about it no longer. Here's the artist responsible himself. I'm actually from Cork originally and my brother, God bless his soul, he, uh, he suggested that I should come down here and paint and it was he that spoke to the people who were running the Kino and actually it was him that suggested a way to incorporate some kind of local flavour into my work so that it would kind of resonate more with the people of the city. Well, the initial idea was to do something with the Franklin Walters who are the, the most famous Cork band. Indeed they are in Cork Red FM. Indeed they are. Paddy O'Shea, you're the local legend on Dave Max Drive this evening for all your work with southernmanfilms.com, Tree Keeper movie we spoke of before, but most recently, a short film you shot, which will explain something that possibly people have wondered about, has picked up an award in Canada. Tell us all, sir. Well, Dave, thanks for having me on. Um, our short film called uh, Jackie O, the short documentary, um, it's about uh, Cork urban artist Finn Dack, who came home to Cork from London to paint the giant mural on the side of the Kino um, on Washington Street. And uh, we shot it basically originally for Finn Dack to cover his work, and it turned into something that just the elements came together, and basically it just seemed to touch a chord of people. And just recently, two weeks ago in Chicago, it won the Consulate of Ireland Award for capturing the spirit and culture of Ireland. Nice one. Now we heard a little grab from the film, Findak himself, explaining how his brother Stan, Stan Knott, a former local legend on Dave Max Drive already, uh, was the man who encouraged him, A, to come to Cork and do some work, uh, and B, he got the Kino Wall organised for him, and then suggested the whole Frank and Walters thing, which is the t-shirt that the girl on the cover is wearing there's a little sort of anyway there's a, there's a few little sort of meanings to it anyone that's perhaps walked past and wondered maybe needs to stand back on the other side of the road to see it I didn't know about this guy Findak we're hoping to get him in the near future to be a local legend as well and for him to tell us more about the urban art he does all around the world he all seems like world, an interesting yeah. guy he's amazing and if you watch the film you see him on the street and he spends as much time talking with people passing by than he does painting that's why it took, it took him five days to paint it and literally anybody who stops and asks him questions or you know asks him of his time he's so giving and so open um, and he, he speaks and has time for everybody no, um, no doubt that's uh, part of I suppose what he gets from the whole process himself you know absolutely yeah you know, he, you could, he, his office is the street and he, he loves being out there meeting people you know yeah I mean artists I suppose are working in, in in quiet studios or somewhere, he probably loves the opportunity to get to interact and have people question him about the work that he's doing. And he's a fine graphic artist, although he doesn't need me to tell him that, or, <laughs> indeed, or indeed if that's even the, the correct term for it. But hopefully we'll talk to him in the near future. Uh, Paddy, what about yourself? What sort of forth? Explain a little of what people will see in the short movie that I've just tweeted and retweeted well, from at Cork's Red FM, and we'll play yeah. the track from the Franks that features in it. But tell us a little about the movie and, and just to conclude, future projects you've got. Well, with the movie itself, Stan phoned me up and said his brother's coming to Cork at last to do a piece and he said, would you do a time-lapse? And um, I originally started filming a time-lapse um, uh, from the shop across the street, mailboxes, etc. And basically, um, at five o'clock, I'd have to take the camera out of there because they were closing up and I started filming him in close-up, closer elements of the piece. And then we decided to do an interview and it just came together and basically we called the Franks and said, Dad, you're on the T-shirt on the mural. Any chance of a track? And they gave us a track and it just... It fits so well. The elements came together and it was just, it just turned into something special, you know? And ultimately, um, it's like what we love to celebrate and talk about here in Cork Sweat FM. It's pure Cork. It's pure Cork. It really is. And it captures a May uh, week uh, last summer, last May. It captures that week and all the weather. It's raining, it's cloudy, it's sunny, and there's people up and down the street. It's great, you know? And um, it's, it's going to screen at the end of May uh, down in the Fastnet Shore Film Festival oh, in Scotland, nice which is a great festival and we're, that's the next screening and it's been shortlisted for Glastonbury for the groovy movie tent Ooh. so it, it, it's it's a bit of gaining a bit of traction, you know. Cool. Well, uh, the Fastnet Short Film Festival is down at Skull, down Mizzen Peninsula, one of my favourite parts of the world. We'll be talking oh, to them. We'll be talking to them ahead of it, and no doubt dishing out local legend titles as we do. Uh, <laughs> what about yourself? Just really briefly, Paddy. Um, well done on the award in Chicago. Uh, Southernmanfilms.com for more. What's coming up? What are you hoping to do? Where will we see? Um, well, I tell you now, right now um, we're 
developing um, and, and almost in production with a feature documentary on a different artist, uh, Taigo Dunu Ross, who is based down in Kerry um, in the Killarney Mountains. And uh, we're, we're putting funding together for that at the moment and developing that project. And it, it's very exciting. He's, he's the guy who did the big horse that stands on his hind legs on the uh, road to Killarney. Um, I'm sure people are familiar with mm-hmm. it. When you're, when you're on the road from Cork to Killarney, on the left-hand side, there's a giant horse uh, rearing its legs. Um, and he is a painter, a sculptor, um, a stained glass artist, and he's, he's, he's our next project. Nice one. Good luck with it. Local legend with City Wax Salon Black Rock. Goodbye, same old. Hello, fabulous. Citywax.ie. Corks Red FM. Red Hits with Philip Burke. Join me, South Philip Burke.